now available in paperback and e-readers, Spellbound, a darker shade of black. Get your copy today at your favorite online bookseller. President Donald Trump's approach to dealing with all these mass shooters who terrorize public schools shows me how completely clueless he is on the issue and how completely out of touch he is regarding solving the problem of all these mass shootings that have been going on in public schools. Now your President Donald Trump proposes that we have armed guards and armed teachers in public schools to deal with the threat of mass shooters. Now I listen to that proposal and I look at what happened in Florida and it pretty much refutes the whole idea of having an armed guard at a public school because as Nicholas Cruz was slaughtering many of his classmates we had a deputy at this school and instead of going in to engage the shooter the deputy stood outside for four minutes and and listened as the shooting went on so that proves the point that having armed guards is not going to solve the problem as related to dealing with mass shooters in public schools. Now your Donald Trump also proposes that teachers be trained in using firearms and have firearms on campus. Now this is another bad idea because this is also not going to stop a mass shooter. When it comes down to these mass shooters, usually they catch people off guard and in order for somebody to engage a shooter they have to be able to not only get this gun out of wherever it is stored but they also have to be able to cock the hammer back or make sure that the gun is loaded in order to engage this person even worse if a teacher or a armed guard is shooting back and forth there is the possibility of people getting caught in the crossfire and more innocent lives being lost as casualties in a back and forth combat situation. So I listen to Donald Trump's proposals and they all come from the position of emotion. They're all emotional arguments and they're all based on how he's feeling right now and not really taking a critical look at the overall situation regarding mass shooters. And what he's not really thinking about is this. If we have an armed guard in a situation and he's having a bad day, what's to stop him from taking the weapons he has and going in here and participating in his own form of a mass shooting? And if a teacher is having a bad day or having an issue with a student, what's to stop them from taking that gun and then participating in their own mass shooting? The big problem with our president that he has is that he doesn't understand is that guns don't stop the problem of mass shooters. And the big problem with most of these mass shooters is that these are extremely damaged and dysfunctional people. And the reason why they are participating in these mass shootings is because of the way many of these males have been raised. And this is the thing that Donald Trump is sidestepping. And the reason why he's sidestepping the whole issue of the way these boys are being raised is because he does not want to alienate the large base of female voters who elected him in the 2016 election. Because 60% of white females voted for Donald Trump and Donald Trump doesn't want to call these females out and hold them accountable for the sad state of affairs regarding these males out here who participate in these mass shootings because the real reason why we have all these mass shootings over the last two decades is because we have a whole two to three generations of beta males who have been raised primarily by females socialized by females and these beta males do not know how to navigate the course in the world as males, as they try to get out into the world, what happens is they wind up having these short circuits because the logic that they were programmed with by their mothers and the culture they were taught with by their mothers was about making them navigate the world as a female, but then they try to socialize as a male 
and what happens is they wind up falling apart. This is what's leading to the mental health issues because these boys do not know how to function as men. And this is something that your Donald Trump and many in the government don't want to confront because they do not want to confront the large population of females out here because they're the largest population in America is women. They make up the largest block of voters. And none of these people out here want to alienate, excuse me, the largest block of voters. Because if you were to call women out about the way we are raising boys, hold them accountable for the way we are raising boys, that's going to upset many of these women out here. Because if you talk about single mothers, that's something that's going to get people upset. And when you talk about women raising boys and telling them that they're doing it wrong, that's also going to make them upset because women don't like being told that they're wrong. So these, this whole situation is not going to be solved anytime soon. And all of this talk of armed guards, that's not going to work. Armed teachers, that's not going to work again. This all comes from emotion but it doesn't provide us with a constructive solution because the constructive solution means confronting women about the way we raise children, holding them accountable for the way they have been raising these boys, and holding them accountable for the culture that they are teaching boys. And it also means us working on a comprehensive plan to invest in men. And investing in men is one of the things that we're going to do if we're really serious about stopping all these mass shooters. Because we have poured so many resources into women that men are suffering out here, men are struggling out here, and that's why we have all these malfunctioning beta males out here because no one is really pouring any sort of resources into them. We're just telling them to just go out here and be men, but these men have been taught how to be men, not by men, but by women. And the reason why they're falling apart is because they're trying to be a man under the standard of a woman, but not the standard of a man. And they're not understanding how the world works for a man. But everybody's thinking that more guards and more security are going to make kids safe. But what's really going to make kids safe is giving them good values, teaching them a functional culture, and bringing in a culture that teaches them the value of manhood and masculinity. Because that's something that has really been lacking over the last 50 years as America has gotten more and more gynocentric. Because as America has gotten more and more gynocentric, men are not seeing any value to their lives. They're not seeing any value that they can contribute to society. And many of the weaker beta males, the reason why they're participating in these mass shootings is because they see themselves as having no worth, no value, and then they, instead of trying to contribute something to the world, they're going out to destroy it and destroy the lives of others. And most of these politicians, they, they're, just, they're content with letting people destroy other people's lives and take other people's lives because they don't want to lose an election. That's the main reason why many of these politicians are sidestepping the issue and candidates, not candidates, people like Donald Trump are sitting there coming up with these crazy cockamamie schemes because they don't want to alienate the large populations of female voters. But if we really are serious about change and making things better to prevent mass shootings in the future, we really have to start making serious efforts towards calling out who needs to be called out and hold those who are accountable accountable. There is no quick fix to dealing with these mass shooters because the problem started 50 years ago with the feminist movement and the whole trend of telling women they could go out here and raise boys to be men. And that's why we've seen this escalation over the last 50 years and over the last 30 years, really, of these mass shooters, because as these beta males have come of age, they just, many of them simmer and boil for years, and then eventually they explode. And the reason why we've seen more and more of an escalation 
in these exploding, short-circuiting beta males is because many of these males just don't know how to navigate a course in life as a man. They don't know how to function as men. And most of America continues to marginalize these men and not invest resources in them and then just sit there and watch as they fall apart. And then as they fall apart, they take the lives of innocent people. But because most Americans don't want to deal with this and deal with the root of the problem, the problem only gets worse. That's why I say there's going to be more mass shootings because Americans just are in denial about this problem. And the reason why they're in denial about this problem is because they just don't want to confront the women in America about the way they're raising children and the way we have raised boys, the culture we have promoted around boys, and how dysfunctional that culture is and how it's creating boys who don't know how to be healthy, functional men. And we really need to start investing resources in men if we hope to really have some impact on the next generation of boys because there's not much we can do about the last couple of generations of boys because we have over, as I say, 50 to 60 million of these beta males out here and they're ticking time bombs. And that's something else your President Donald Trump just doesn't understand. And that's something most Americans don't understand is that in order for us to stop the mass shooters, we have to change the way we see boys, the way we see males, the way we raise males, and the culture we promote around males. And most people don't want to do that hard work, starting with many of these single mothers out here by saying that we need to have boys, need to have a male figure and a father figure. And in most of our media, we, that means we have to start changing our media from these hyper-masculine and effeminate males that we put in media or these beta males that we've promoted over the years, like your Ray Romanos, your Kevin Jameses, your Rosses on Friends, and all these other soft males, and switch over to more alpha and more masculine males in media. And again, nobody wants to make those changes because that means that people are going to lose money, and no one wants to lose money in these situations. But I listen to Donald Trump's proposals, and they show me, again, how completely clueless he is on the situation. Armed guards aren't going to stop these mass shooters. And even like here in New York, we have Bill de Blasio, a Democrat, who's talking about more metal detectors. Now, when I went to school back in the day, metal detectors did not stop the gangs. Metal detectors did not stop the dope dealers. All they did was wait things out on that day. They saw the security vans. And they didn't come into school that day, but the next day they came in with their weapons or they came through a side door. Or in some cases, they were working with the guards at the school and getting the weapons in. So that's not going to stop anything as related to these mass shooters. And when we look at these mass shooters and their approach to their violence, oftentimes these guys come in with Russian attacks and they come in because they know how the building is, they know how the security is, they know how things operate, and they catch people off guard. So when these guys come in, they've already planned things. So you coming in and saying that an armed guard is going to stop somebody, it's not going to stop these beta males. We have to stop these beta males at the source, and the only way we can stop those beta males is to make sure that they are raised in a way that prevents them from learning these dysfunctional values and ideas and coming to understand how to be the kind of man who contributes to society instead of trying to destroy it. If you'd like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. And if you want to read some of my men's issues books, you may do so by clicking the link to Amazon.com. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.